Look at me being a sports girly in my hockey jersey. Hello, hi, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to set my expectations through the roof for my April TBR. We set a huge goal for my TBR in March. I did not do very well with actually reading that TBR, but I did read 17 books in March, which is so many more than I usually read. So we're going to do the same for April. We are setting our expectations through the roof, setting them very high. Probably the most books I've ever had on a TBR. And we're going to jump right into it. Um, I Last month, I decided to add Kindle books to my TBR and not just physical books, which I think was a good thing. I liked that. So we're going to add some audiobooks also this month and starting with The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. I don't know that they're connected but I read War's Best Man. I didn't love it but I'm excited to read The Wedding Crasher. Emily said she liked it better so I do want to read this on audio this month also. I found one on script called Focused and it is supposed to be a hate to love sports romance by Carla Sorensen. That is all I know about it literally know nothing else about this book but this is it and it's like focused but then like used is in a different color and I'm very intrigued that'll probably be my next um audiobook it's only going to take it's going to take me under four hours to listen to this I listen on two times speed for my audiobooks so it does give me I get done with those a lot faster so I do want to listen to that and then I also think I want to listen to Two Wedding Crashers which is the second book, Dating by Numbers. The Dating by Numbers um, series by Megan Quinn. I read Three Blind Dates in March so I want to go ahead and listen to this second book. And then there is two more in this series. It looks like there is a 2.5 book and then also a book three so I will try to get all maybe all of those done depending on if they're all on audiobook but those are the audiobooks that I want to listen to this month and then a couple kindle books that I'm looking forward to is I want to read The Enemy Trap by Maren Moore um there's only two Maren Moore books that I haven't read and it is enemy trap and the newspaper nanny so I want to get those done and then I'm going to bring to you a guide to Maren Moore and everything you need to know about the books that she has written and when you need to read them what order you need to read them in that will be coming very soon but I've got to get the enemy trap and newspaper nanny read so that I can do that for you so that is definitely on my list and then love and hockey it is the first in the fury series by Monty J I'm very excited to read something a little different from them I cannot wait to read this. This came out in like 2020 so I'm definitely behind. I think they finished this entire series before they did the Hollow Boy series which if you do not know I love the Hollow Boy series so much. So I'm very excited to read more from MJ and see what they have to offer with this hockey series. I can't wait to read it. I literally know nothing about it. But it is one of my most anticipated reads for the month. I cannot wait to read it. Also, I should be getting, toward the end of this month, my arc for The Blood We Crave Part 2. Which is going to be the fourth Hollow Boy series. It is the second part to book three, which is The Blood We Crave. So we have The Blood We Crave Part 2 and I cannot wait to see what happens in that book. I am dying to read it so I cannot wait. I should be getting that arc at the end of this month so that will definitely be a time where I drop everything I'm doing and sit down and read that book. Um, so there is the couple audiobooks and Kindle books that I want to read. Now we're going to jump into the books that I want to physically read. There is a lot here. I was not able to make decisions so I just put them all here. Um, we're going to run through very quickly the ones that are still on my TBR from last month that I decided to keep on my TBR. Starting with Quarter Wings and Ruin. This has been here I feel like for six months. It probably has. I've been 200 pages into this book for forever and we'll see if I get done with it. I was really thinking that I was going to last month and I really didn't. So it's still here. 
still here. Um, red, white, and royal blue. I've got to read this for my Patreon book club. I have been waiting on the audiobook to hit script, which that's going to happen on Tuesday. So I will start this on Tuesday. I am very excited to kind of read the read along with the audiobook. I think that's going to be really fun and I'm really excited about it. Um, especially because I believe this is in third person. So the audiobook will definitely help me be able to help my brain be able to comprehend things. Um, I feel that I don't like reading third person usually. Um, there are very few authors that I find that I can read their third person and Casey might be one of those authors. But I feel like audiobooks help my brain comprehend it more. I'm not sure why, but that's the way it goes. We have Fable. I've had this book forever and I really, really just need to read it. So it's here. It's a fantasy and we'll see if I can get to it. We'll, we'll see. I am currently reading Set on You by Amy Lee. I can't, I don't know if you pronounce her last name Leah or Lee. I've pronounced it both ways. I've heard some people say Lee, so I guess that is what we will go with. I am 90 pages into this. I started this a couple days ago. It's really, really cute. I actually decided to grab this and start it before reading X's and O's, which this is the second book in this series, so I'm very excited to finish Set on You and then be able to read X's and O's. Um, they are both like influencers which is really cool I love reading stuff like that she is a fitness influencer and she is a curvy heroine and then our heroine in this book is a bookstagrammer which I think is so cool so I'm very excited to read this one as well um so we will see where these go how those go um I will definitely finish that on you this month um and then we have the luminaries which is the book that I'm probably going to be starting very soon. I'm. This is the fantasy book that I'm very excited about this month is Luminaries. I've heard great things about this. I don't know a whole lot about it but I've heard it be compared to Teen Wolf and that is all I needed to know. I had already bought it but like it being compared to Teen Wolf made me be like oh I need to read that like right now. So we have the Luminaries. We also have Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. I am really excited to read some Kennedy Ryan. I don't know this is the best Kennedy Ryan book to start with. I've said that before and I still don't know. No one has told me. So. But I'm very excited. This cover is absolutely freaking gorgeous. So this is still here from last month. And then we have Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I read Mr. Wrong Number which is my first Lynn Painter book last month. And this is a YA. I'm almost positive. This is a YA book that she wrote. And I'm very excited. To read this, I really loved her writing, and um, so that made me look be able to look forward to this book even more. And then we have Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. This is the first in the Beautiful series by them, and I'm really excited to jump into this. I'm guessing this is probably going to be Billionaire, and that is all I know about it. I know that all of the rest of these are in this series, so I'd love to start it and figure out what this has to offer. It's a fanfic? Hold up, what? I need to do more research into this. It says it was originally online as The Office by TBY789 and generated over 2 million reads on fanfiction sites. And then it's been updated. I need to do more research, but I'm very excited about this. This is probably my most anticipated physical book that I'm looking forward to this month, and that is Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. I have heard so much about the Boys of Tolman series and I cannot wait to read this. It is rugby and there was a rugby TikTok. I had a rugby TikTok the other day and I sent it to Emily and was like BRB going to read a rugby romance. Um, so I think that I'm just going to do that. If I wasn't already starting Set On You I would literally just pick this up right now and start reading it and honestly I might. The font is tiny. Why is the font so small? This is a 600 page, almost 600 page book, like a 550 page book, and the font is tiny. This is, this should be probably like seven to 800 pages if it had regular size font. I've heard that these are absolutely phenomenal. There's four of these out, four books of these out. So I've got some catching up to do. The fourth one just came out and I cannot wait. 
I thought the first time I, first couple of times I saw this cover I thought it was a firefighter romance um I don't know why this was giving firefighter it's literally boys on a rugby pitch is that what that's called is it called a rugby pitch I don't know yeah a rugby pitch wow look at me being a sports girly in my hockey jersey so we will see I'm very excited um literally my when I finish this video I might go read this or I might finish that on you first I'm not sure We'll see how I feel after this. Um, and then I want to read P.S. I Still Love You, which is the second book in the To All the Boys series by Jenny Han. And I'm very excited about this. I can't wait to read this and then watch the movie. I've never seen any of the movies. I read To All the Boys I Love Before in February and watched the first movie and it was super, super cute. Um, I've heard that Jordan Fisher is in the second movie and that makes my heart very happy. I love Jordan Fisher so um am I wrong am I, am I going to be disappointed when he doesn't show up in the second movie probably but this is my um YA when I just want something really cute to read it's going to be this um I also have a reading vlog planned for these two books this is too wrong to be right and misfit by L Kennedy this is the first in the prep series um, and these are ones that my husband picked out for me. So we went to Barnes and Noble and I told him to pick a couple books. He picked these two. So I'm going to do a reading vlog where I pick his pick, I where I read his picks. <laughs> I was supposed to do this last month. Um, and I just didn't have time. So this reading vlog will be coming to you very soon. I'm very excited about this. Should I do a reading vlog for this? Also, should I do a reading vlog for this? This is throttled by Lauren Asher. I can't wait to read this. I've had this for what feels like forever but now that I am done with the Dreamland Billionaire series and I've had a little bit of time to like settle in it um I feel like I'm ready to jump into the Dirty Air series. So Throttled is the first book. This is Maya and Noah and it is F1 drivers. So I'm excited to read this. I'm excited to learn more about F1 because I really don't know much about it. So very very excited for that also I'm ready to get back into the addicted series this is addicted for now this is the third book in the addicted slash Callaway sister series or just the addicted series um this is the last book in the addicted series before I jump into the Callaway addicted Callaway sister series um I very much have only read two of those books and I still bought a bunch of prints K. Kristen Arts this is her handle is down here um um, this is Lily and Low. This is Kabbalaway. This is, I just recently found out, this is Willow and Garrison. They have a spinoff of the Addicted Calloway Sister series. And then this is Daisy and Reich, which I'm very excited about Daisy and Reich. So I ordered all of these, not finishing this series, not reading three of these couples books at all. Um, but this was the last print she was doing of these. So I also ordered a beach read print from Emily Henry. Um, so I'm very excited for these. I can't wait to find them a home on my shelves. Um, especially once I actually, you know, finish the Addicted Kelly Sister series and can like them a little bit more. Um, but she did the cover for this really beautiful special edition of Love in Other Words that is being released i pre-ordered that as well and i cannot wait to get it but yes i want to get back into the addicted series i told Paige we've got to get back into this world i want to finish it i want to read it this is dual pov for the first time and i cannot wait to read Lowe's point of view i cannot wait so very excited for that um also red queen red queen is going to be my second most important fantasy book for the month it's been this has been on my tbr so many times and i really just i've started it i've start i've read like 30 pages of it and i just got to finish it so i'm definitely going to be doing this this month definitely definitely i'm definitely gonna do it one more that i kept on this tbr that i didn't realize was in this stack was um things we never got over um, the th she just announced the third book in this series. The second book just came out. I have both of them, and I'm very excited to read more Lucy's score. Everyone loves this book, so I can't wait to read that. 
and then we have two left two left oh my god I feel like I've been talking forever because I just filmed a video before this. Um, I want to read Underlock. I'm kind of in a mood for some Mariana Zapata. And this is the first book that they say you should read of Mariana's. I have read The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. I read it in 2021. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. I'm going to start with the first book they say you could read. Because all of Mariana's books are like semi-connected. They're all within the same world. So there's mention of things sprinkled end of all of her books from her previous books so this is the first one that everyone says you should read is Underlock and I'm very excited Mariana is known for her slow burn romance and that is something that I just really want right now is a slow burn romance I want to read a slow burn romance so we have Underlock this is like 500 pages so we're gonna do that um and then we have I want to continue the crave series so the second book is crush but then she came out with charm um a couple months ago and this is supposed to happen between crave and crush so should i read this next i think that's what i'm going to say what i'm going to do her website says that you can read this anytime after crave this is like the missing four months that happens between Crave and Crush. So sh I think I might read this next and then read Crush and then continue on with the series. But I'm just really in the mood for some vampires. I really want that in my life right now. So I think that I'm going to read Charm next. That is all. That was so many books. Let's see how many it is. One. 26. I have 26 books on this TBR. Um, what am I thinking? What? What am I thinking? I'm not. But they're there. They're gonna be there. They're gonna be there if I decide I want to pick them up. They're just, they're gonna be there. They're gonna be there for me to love if I decide. Because I did, go, all of my physical books that I picked up, I believe were on my TBR. So that's good. I just need to read some more physical books this month. Then I and I have less Kindle books on my and both of my Kindle books from last month were very long. I love how I'm defending myself to you. But we have so many books to read. I'm just really in I'm I'm in a good mood for reading. Like I am not in a slump. I am like excited about reading right now. So there's that. Um also you should Fingers crossed be seeing streams from me very soon. I finally got my computer back. That is a whole thing that I will talk to you guys about whenever um, I do my first stream and everything that happened with that because it is a story and a half. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. That will be where I will keep all of that stuff updated. Um, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. Once I start, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.